Hey guys, it's your boy the Beam on this camera, and welcome to the career mode update update for March 6, 2015. And guys, this week's update, I'm gonna be honest, not all that great, at least for the big names, but there are a couple of hidden gems that got little nice bumps, and I'm gonna show them off to you. But first and foremost, let's start it off with the buff section. And to start off the buff section is this guy right here. Philippe Coutinho and he has just been on fire for Liverpool. I mean the goals that he has scored in the past two weeks have just been mmm mmm so good. And as you can see, he's getting a plus one to his overall. He's got a four-star weight for four-star skill moves. And as you can see, in his sense, he's not getting all that much for plus one, but it's very apparent why he's getting <laughs> the stats that he's getting. He's getting a plus two to long passing, a plus two to shot power, and a plus three long shots. Because come on. Come on, just go on YouTube and look up Philip Coutinho and you'll you'll know why this update happened. <laughs> he is Batman, he is Robin, he is Spider-Man, he is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang getting a plus one, plus one to his potential and overall. And as you can see, what's even more weird is that he's getting a plus one and he's getting a negative one to crossing and a whole bunch of negatives to, to marking and he's only getting a plus one reaction and a plus one positioning. How did, how is that a plus one? <laughs> I don't know. Once again, just a puzzling, puzzling man, Pierre Emerick Obama Yang. It seems every single week there's just one team that gets a lot of buffs, and this week happens to be Monacao, and it is the FIFA 14 legend, Anthony Marshall, the striker that everyone bought in their career months, and he's getting a plus one to his overall. Got a four star weak foot and three star skill moves and we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to his attacking and movement stats not all has changed getting a plus one reaction plus two to long passing although that doesn't change all too much going up to a 50 plus one to short passing and plus five to stamina that is actually very nice a plus five to stamina that means his stamina used to be at 55 which is practically unusable 60 you can at least keep him on the field for a half next up we got the Spaniard Morata who plays for Juventus and his increases are mighty in this these are some incredible increases if you're getting a plus one this is the way to go uh, plus two to acceleration plus four to sprint speed wow plus five to agility plus five to aggression only putting that up to a 55 plus one to positioning and plus eight to vision and look at this plus four to short passing plus five to stamina always nice to get a big bump to stamina and plus 12 12 to jumping what was he was he only jumping with his toes what is he doing and he was already 6'2 so <laughs> 6'2 and getting a plus 12 to jumping very very good strength at 80 what a freaking tank we can look at Francis Coquelin right here he's getting a plus one plus one can play CDM and CM and not too much get a plus one plus one uh, two to reactions two to stand tackle one to marking one to long passing and one to ball control and one to interceptions and oh that is very nice actually I take it all back anytime you get stamina increased in your player that is a win and definitely a plus three is really nice bumping it up almost to 80 for Marquinhos the highly touted youngster plus two reactions one to marking two to stand tackle and a lot of upgrades right here in the skills plus four to dribbling three to curve three to long passing and one to ball control plus three to interceptions bringing it up to a whopping 83 plus six to positioning and six to vision and plus six to crossing two to heading accuracy and one to passing those are some pretty good stats I guess if you were an offensive player <laughs> but um well nonetheless nonetheless it can help him passing out of the back and if you want to use him in that right back position oh an old favorite and one well known by a lot of you career mode enthusiasts the only thing that I have a little bit of a, of a sad note to this is they keep on bumping up his overall he's not gonna be a hidden gem that you can buy for cheap anymore and let's go ahead and look at these magnificent stats right here plus one acceleration two to reactions negative one to aggression plus one to positioning and plus four to vision nice for those long passes and short passes plus one to short passing apparently he can't hit for shit but he can finish actually no it's only a 40 <laughs> he's not gonna finish it off but he can kind of cross it but remember he's only at a 67 guys and all these stats are gonna be just skyrocketing up you guys already know him but now he's a little bit better Levin as Tuna Lee. Now this next kid is quite interesting. He's kind of been off of the radar. Maybe some of you guys have known about him, but this is what I love about this uh, type of series is bringing attention to some of the lesser known players, a little bit of a hidden gem. And as you can see, the big thing with him, he's getting a plus one, plus one, starts out at a 69 and can go all the way up 
82 and 81 is native to Nigeria. And look at that five star weak foot and four star skill moves. Place for KAA Gent. I have no clue where that is. I'm not going to lie. And here's the interesting thing right here. I usually don't go to the history section, but check it out. When he started in FIFA 15, he started at a 64. And then all of a sudden, he got a little bit of a bump, got up to that 67. And then he got up to a 68, and over the past couple of weeks, it's just been steadily growing. So this is a guy that was almost totally negligible when FIFA first started out, but he's totally grown in to one of the best young players. Only 18, so he is going to grow into an absolute beast, and this is what y'all wanted to see. Oh my goody goodness, guys. Look at those movement stents. Oh, pace whores, you guys got your panties wet for this one right here. 91 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, 93 agility. So he's just not all pace. He's going to be dribbling for days around people. He's got those four star skill moves plus 30 reactions to bring it up to a 71 and 87 balance. 73 dribbling plus two, bringing it up to a 71 of ball control. And he can finish even, oh my god, 72 finishing, uh, plus 5 to heading accuracy, but still not going to be all that great. Uh, decent at volleys and getting a plus 4 stamina. You guys know how I feel about stamina upgrades. 80 to jumping and a 63 to shot power and a 69 to positioning has the acrobat trait. Oh my goodness, guys. He is going to be one of the best young strikers slash wingers in the game now. Think about that. Look at these stats. And remember, this motherfucker right here is 18! 18, and he is going to have an astronomical growth of 12. Of 12. So just imagine all of this at 81, and that is enough to make any Pesor's panties wet. Mm. 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 Remember the name, Moses Simon. And if you guys have been following my Southampton career mode, you guys know about this guy. I refer to him as the Big Bad Bowser, but his name is Ricardly Biozior. I don't know how to pronounce his name. And he is getting some nice, nice upgrades. Plus five to reaction, plus one to dribbling, long passing, two to ball control, always nice. Getting a plus two to finishing, but he's pretty much useless at 48. One to passing, one to positioning, two to interceptions, plus one to stamina, always nice. Negative one to strength, oh, that's kind of Sucky, and plus one to long shots and remember guys he starts out at a 69 and can go up to an 84 it's only 17 man what is up with these dutch players incredible incredible imagine these freaking stats guys when he is fully at 84 whoo all these yellows are going to be dark green and he is just going to be a monster in the midfield and PSG getting another plus one plus one and that would be the right back for them already beastly feastly at a 76 now bumping up to a 77 with the potential of 82 can also play the center back position but I don't know if you want a center back that's spot nine <laughs> just saying but he has a little bit of positional uh, flexibility let's go ahead and look at the stats that were upgraded Ooh, some nice ones right here he's getting a little bit more faster with a plus three to acceleration and plus three to sprint speed bringing him up to 85 nice right there a little bit of an upgrade at dribbling plus two to long passing plus two to vision and plus 15 to penalties he is now usable in your penalty slot, so there you go. Plus three to crossing, very nice at a right back position, and plus three to accuracy, and he's got 90 jumps, so if you do really want to use him at center back, he's got a chance with that jumping and that header accuracy and a stamina of 88. How is he not? Oh, there you go. He does have the engine trait. One of the one of my favorite, favorite traits to have in career mode is the engine trait. You just gotta love any player that can just run and run for days. And he has the power header trait, so I take it all back. You actually can probably use him as a center back. Remember the name, Serge Ariar. And last on the buff list, this guy is a beast in uh, FIFA Ultimate Team, and now he is even more of a beast in career mode, and that would be this guy, Freddy Godin. He is 28 years old, so you're going to have to buy him pretty quick, but uh, hopefully he can last a couple more years. The Colombian's getting a plus one, plus one to his overall, and his potential can play the central mid, central defensive mid, and center forward position. Three-star weak foot, three-star scum is, and let's go ahead and scroll down to see his stats that have been upgraded already an amazing FIFA player you guys already know a lot about him but getting an upgrade two to reactions plus one to sand tackling plus one to slide tackling 
plus one to dribbling, one to ball control, uh, no, negative one to ball control, plus one to long pressing, plus three to regression, plus four to interception, so he's definitely going to be a lot better in that central defensive midfield role, plus one to crossing, plus two to heading accuracy, plus five to stamina, bringing it up to a massive 88, plus one to strength, bringing that up to 89, and plus two to long shots. Oh my god, just look at this power. He's the fucking incredible Hulk in your midfield. 91 shot power, 89 long shots, 89 strength, and 88 stamina. You got power free kick, tries to beat defensive line, long shot taker, distant shooter, and engine. Just have him steal the ball, and the moment you steal the ball, just kick it. Kick it from wherever you're from, and you got a 50-50 chance that thing's probably going in. And now for the nerf section, and the first guy to get nerfed is the Galatasaray man, Bruma the big dude from Portugal, is getting a negative one, negative one, nothing. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, okay. So he's getting a negative one, negative one because of the position change, and apparently just nothing else has changed. So yeah, he's getting the Emery Chan syndrome now. If you guys don't remember from my previous episodes, Emery Chan just, they kept on switching his position every single week. So he would go up one week and then would go down one week. So it wouldn't surprise me if next week we revisit Bruma and he is plus one, plus one. Alex Oxlade Chamberlain from Arsenal is getting a negative two to his potential. Nothing has changed in his stats. He is just getting a negative two to his potential, I guess. I guess that's pretty fair. I mean, he shows flashes of brilliance from here and then but just hasn't quite developed into the player that we once thought he was going to be so that's fair it's a negative two to his potential but 84 is still extremely extremely good and let's be honest guys anybody would love the ox in your career mode next up on the nerf section and one that is making me scratch my head a little and it breaks my heart as an American DeAndre Yedlin and man do you guys remember how amazing he was in the freaking World Cup, he had Eden Hazard in his pocket the whole entire game, and for some reason, he finally transfers over to Tottenham, and he gets a negative two to his potential. <laughs> I mean, alright, alright, and as you can see, none of his stats have really changed. He's got speed, speed, and more speed, and he's got stamina for days. Got that 88 stamina, but doesn't have the engine uh, trait a little bit weird there, and he's got 94 jumping. And uh, besides that, he's still a pretty good, I mean, he's freaking FIFA good, um, but now his potential isn't all that great. DeAndre Yedlin, why you gotta do him to him like that, man? Another guy getting a negative 2 to his overall potential is John Stones, considered one of the best young center backs, if not the best young English center back uh, in England right now, and he plays for Everton, which can explain uh, why he's getting the negative 2. That just seems to be happening, that just seems to be the trend. If your team isn't doing too well, usually you get a downgrade, and that's what probably happened right here to John Stone. As we can see, none of his stats have changed but he's just a, a negative two to his overall potential. Federico Mattelliello, or however you say his last name, and this is one of the most dramatic downgrades I have ever seen. All right, I see, so he used to be a left mid player, uh, truthfully, and then they downgraded him. So I guess he's getting a lot of those negatives because he doesn't really have the defensive stats to play that left back position. And now to the nice ads of the week, the people who weren't in FIFA but now are in FIFA. And as you can see, it's this guy right here is the nice ad of the week. Juan Sanchez Mino got four star skill moves, got three star weak foot, has a overall of 74 and a potential of 80. And let's go ahead and look at his stats right here. And um, nothing outstanding, but everything extremely well rounded. As you can see, a high 70s in all the movement stats um, except for uh, reactions and balance immense in the skill moves look at that just all mid 70s to high 70s mentality all that yellow look at all this yellow right here and great yellow right here got great shot power and great long shots uh, got the long shot uh, taker trait and the playmaker trait Ooh, this is a nice young ad. Remember, he is at 74 and will grow another six points. So imagine all of these probably turning into light greens. Next up in the ads, he was taken away and now he is back once again. And that is the Southampton man, Omar Rowe. And he is going to start off at a potential of 59. No, um, and he is going to start off at a 59 and grows to a 68. So he is going to be a nice young right mid or left mid that you guys want to pick up in your Road to Glorious play with a League 2 or a League 1 side and we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to see his stats, his starting off stats and this is the reason why you're getting him 
awesome guys 85 acceleration 81 sprint speed 80 agility and 81 balance for the youngster and decent stamina especially for a youngster that is great and if you guys look um, in the comment section this kid can be glitched if you guys don't know what it is there are certain players in I'd say like the past like three or four FIFA's that always outgrow their potential and Omar Rowe is one of them but you have to let them grow on an AI team they will not grow on your team you have to let them reach the potential on an AI team and then bring them over so once you see Omar Rowe hitting that 68 go ahead spend that cash on him bring him over and he will actually expand and go past this upwards into the 90s or the high 80s guys he is a hidden glitch gem in the matrix go ahead and get yourselves this guy Omar Rowe from Southampton and now to hang our heads guys for those who are no longer with us in the first one I will profile right here is Josh Anoma and unfortunately they brought him back for one week and then they took him away again from Tottenham well the one that I want to highlight for personal reasons is this guy right here he is a beast in FIFA Ultimate Team there's a difference between being good in real life and being good in FIFA and you might ask why should I care about this random center back and let me tell you this is why you should care look at his freaking stats 78 acceleration 86 sprint speed 80 agility 72 aggression 85 stamina and 91 strength he was a cheap cheap beast at center back and he's got the strength uh, speciality right there he was a cheap cheap beast that you could buy in your crewmates or an ultimate team he was just an all-round good FIFA player and that is why I'm gonna go ahead and hang my head now and have a moment of silence for those who are no longer with us this has been your boy the B minus gamer and until next time remember Stay humble. Seen a lot of people on YouTube who do Road to Glory to do the financial takeover, but I said fuck that. What am I gonna? Well, who am I gonna be? Am I gonna be some Arab prince taking over some nobody club, or am I gonna be a pirate and a Viking?